Nizhny Novgorod loves the team. Despite the fact Torpedo's key players are all imports, some of them are loved more than any of the local players. And today we're going to tell you about one of them. I was a little kid, maybe five or six years old, when I first stepped on the ice with my parents in my hometown, says Torpedo's defenseman Yossi Hittinen. My dad gave me my first skating lessons, but I was too young to remember it well now. When I turned 13 or 14 years old, I was a forward, but then one of the coaches, I don't remember who exactly, met me defenseman. It's unknown why that coach decided to turn Hitton into a defenseman, but that decision gave Torpedo and Team Finland an ideal D-man. Forwards can easily underestimate Hitton because of his small frame, but don't let him fool you. He's one of the best skaters not just on our team, but in the league, says his teammate Slava Kuleman. He skates backwards better than some people skate forward. He's a great skater, he sees the ass pretty well too, and doesn't shy away from contact. It doesn't matter who he faces, big guys or small guys. Hitton leads Torpedo in ice time. He averages 22 minutes and 30 seconds per game. He's also fourth on the team in points. He has four goals and 12 assists in 28 games this season. And it also appears he's mad out of iron. For the third consecutive year, he hasn't missed a single regular season game. He has played 129 consecutive games in the KHL. It's really hard to answer that question. I just try to do everything I can for my team and show what I'm capable of out there. I don't look that much at my stats, but I think you were right when you said I get the same amount of points every year. Last year, Torpedo was just a little unlucky in a hard-fought series against Salavat Yulayev. They were one win away from making it to the Eastern Conference semifinals. Torpedo's biggest success in Gagarin Cup playoffs was in 2012. Playoff games are special. In my first year here, we got to the second round, beating Dynamo Riga. I remember all seven games against them like they were yesterday. I also remember the series against Dynamo Moscow. I think we had a shot at beating them as well, but they played a little better. I've played many games ever since, but that season was truly special for me. I can't say that I focus at one particular thing at practices. I focus on the game. I've always loved every aspect of it. Skating drills, taking shots on net. When you go out to play with your friends, you don't think if it's going to make you better. You're just having fun. At 2014 Olympics in Sochi, Hitton and won a bronze medal with Tim Finland. Some torpedo fans came over to cheer for him because he's been with the club so long. They cheer for him even when Finland play Russia. In Nizhny Novgorod, hockey spells Hittinen. His name is all over the place. Banners on the streets and on the back of the jerseys at Torpedo Sports Bar. I don't think it's difficult to live in Russia. It's much easier than living somewhere else. I feel comfortable in this town and I don't have any trouble. As for hockey, it's pretty much the same no matter where you go. We don't have big rivers in Finland. We have a lot of lakes and creeks. There's nothing like that over there. It looks nice. I like it in the summer better though, when you can enjoy the view and take a walk next to the Kremlin. He never thought that hockey would take him to Russia. And he also never thought that he's gonna call home this town on Volga River. He never thought that people would recognize him here on the streets and ask for autographs. 
Obviously, it's a totally different country and different culture. But it's always a good thing to get to know different places and different people. Hockey is a great way to see the world. This town has great hockey fans. Every home game is sold out. There's always a great atmosphere at the rink. Their passion motivates us a lot. Their emotions and energy push us forward. Heaton lives next to other Finnish import players on Torpedo. They spend a lot of time together. It's really important to feel at home when you're away from home in a whole other country. Together they feel comfortable. I think the city has gotten a little different. There are a lot of new great buildings. Nizhny Novgorod is a great town. It's a pretty big town too, so you have to deal with stuff like traffic every now and then. But overall I think it's great. Finnish players and Torpedo prefer having a personal driver rather than drive themselves. It used to be just one car for all of them, but this season they hired a second car. I don't even think of him as a Finnish player. He's lived in this town longer than some other guys on the team. He's a great guy. Hard-working player like Heatonen is a very important piece in Battery Scudra schemes. He plays on the first defensive pairing, he's also on a power play and penalty killing. Heatonen is a true example of great work ethic. He proves over and over again that he deserves to be on the team. We've changed our game after Scudra took over. We play more aggressively and work really hard at practices. He's a very demanding man. He wants to push us to the limit. He plays to win every night. It's a good attitude, and the players can feel that. We also play to win every night. Hitsen is a great professional, first and foremost, says Patrick Scudo, Torpedo's head coach. He works hard at every practice. He's one of those guys who come first to practice and leave last. He doesn't take it easy on himself, you know? And I'm not even talking about just team practices. He works hard individually as well. This is why he's able to be so consistent throughout the season. Hittinen doesn't resort to just long shots. One of Torpedo's favorite power play plays is when he skates down the wind and takes a shot from in tight. He gets open on the far post and sends it into the net. He's a skilled defenseman who scores like a true forward. He's skilled and smart with the puck, says his teammate and fellow Finn Jarko Immanen. He may not have a whole lot of tricks in his head, but he's really good with what he's got. He's good both offensively and defensively, says another Finn on Torpedo, Sakari Salmanen. He's a key player in our power play. He's a great guy and a good friend of mine. Patrick Scudero loves offensive hockey. And even though his team doesn't always play pretty, Torpedo always play a very effective game. I think we play pretty aggressive hockey. Torpedo is a hard team to play against. We work a lot and practice hard. We have a great group of guys here. I think our results this season prove it as well, but we won even more. This season Torpedo has everything to be successful. Ambitious coach, great import players, experienced team and great fans. It wasn't that long ago that Mighty Red Army got to learn it firsthand. Hittinen believes this season could be the best season for Torpedo in the past few years. He tried to focus on every game. Even before the puck drop, you want to get rid of all the other thoughts. You want to focus just on hockey. You don't want to wait for the third period to play hard. You have to battle on every shift. Unlike other players who get older and play worse, Hittinen gets better with every year. He's one of those guys who understand that hockey is much more than just 90 minutes of practice every day. Hockey is a lifestyle. It's not just his favorite game, it is also his job. And he understands that pretty well. You want to win, that's the goal. You want to win everything. To win the cup you have to work hard every day. That's the only way to get to the top where we've never been before. That's why we need to step up our game.